Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. So this week I want to talk to you about how your beliefs become your reality. Our beliefs can come from many, many places. Quite often they come from our family, from our upbringing, from the culture that we were born into, and from experiences we have through life. A lot of them are picked up from the people that we grow up with, the people that we interact with, and from the information that we gather as we go through life. And those beliefs are there to help us experience life and also to try and keep us safe and help us survive. The problem with beliefs is, the problem with beliefs is that whatever you believe becomes your reality. It becomes what you experience. For instance, if somebody believes that being um, that crowds and um, big groups of people aren't very pleasant, then they might react by sort of withdrawing, closing themselves down, being a bit offish. And how that group of people then experiences that person is somebody who doesn't want to interact with them. And in response, they will also pull away and not be as friendly and open to that person, therefore confirming that person's belief that groups of people aren't very friendly. Now, I also had a relationship a number of years ago now, and um, in that relationship, the guy I was with believed that men should be the head of the household. Um, and anyone that knows me will realise that that is not something that I agree with. Um, I'm very happy to have a partnership with somebody. I don't believe that one person should be more capable or better than another person, that there's strength in both parties. Anyway, that's a conversation for another time. In this particular instance, he went all out to try and prove what it was that he believed. And he resorted to going to the Bible, finding things that he'd Googled online. And all it confirmed to me is that when we believe something, we seek evidence to confirm that belief. He was doing it knowingly. He was knowingly going out to find that evidence to prove to me that men were more capable of leading a family than women. And, but we do it all the time anyway. Um, for instance, I know someone else who um, really doesn't like BM, um, Audi drivers. Their belief is that people that drive Audis are really stuck up and obnoxious and um, not very sort of very kind drivers. And they might not notice when an Audi driver is being nice and kind. But every time an Audi driver isn't nice and kind, it confirms their belief that these people are not nice. And you might find that you have those similar beliefs about other types of people that drive certain types of cars, but just be aware of it because it isn't always the truth. Um, I personally had an Audi a number of years ago and I like to think that I'm quite a kind driver and I sort of are conscientious and let people in and sort of think about other road users. So often there is very little truth in the beliefs that we have but we seek the evidence to confirm them, whether knowingly, like the person I went out with did, or unknowingly, like the person who doesn't like Audi drivers. And the things we're talking about here are just sort of inconsequential sort of things, but our beliefs go so much larger than what I'm just talking about now. They, they go as large as your beliefs about life, your beliefs about um, whatever deity or non-deity you believe in, be it God, the universe, energy, or whether you're an atheist. Whatever you believe is the truth. I was having a very interesting conversation with someone the other day, and they were talking about um, a couple of instances that they'd had. Um, they'd been the victim of fraud, and quite a nasty kind of fraud. And they were sort of questioning and doubting themselves, um, and they thought that they'd attracted this into their life. And there was a whole sort of mess and complication around it. And it was actually funny, it was after the conversation and I was just mulling over what we'd been talking about. And it suddenly came to me that what you believe becomes the truth. And if we believe that people are out to get us, if people are malicious, have bad intentions, that people have bad energy that can um, influence us or our lives, then that is what we will experience. Now, there are infinite number of beliefs and we all have numerous beliefs. And how do we change those beliefs? Well, first of all, it's to acknowledge that your belief, to become aware of that belief, because without the awareness of that belief, you will just keep on repeating the confirmation and seeking the evidence of that belief that you have. So becoming aware of it and noticing how you behave when you have that belief. 
So for instance, with the Audi, dislike of Audi drivers, making a conscious effort to see if there are people that are actually nice who drive Audis. Actually, that reminds me, um, I obviously, when I got divorced, I was not overly enamoured with men at the particular time or marriage as an institution. And um, I remember sort of thinking that everywhere that I looked were disastrous relationships and marriages that weren't sincere and weren't connected. And knowing what I know about beliefs, I caught myself in this sort of internal sort of diatribe about marriage. And I kind of thought, okay, Brit, you're going out there into the world and looking for evidence of bad marriages, of marriages that don't work, and you're finding it everywhere you look. Why don't you stop and look for marriages that do work and actually seek evidence for the opposite of what you believe? And I did do this. I look, looked amongst my friends and people I knew, and I started to find things that confirmed that there is the possibility of a good marriage, of people that are working together and who love each other dearly and are able to listen and grow and learn together. Um, and, and that's one way to help correct a belief. Instead of looking for the confirmation of that belief, is to look for the opposite of that and consciously do it rather than unconsciously do it. And the more consciously you do it, the more you start to give yourself evidence and the more you retrain your subconscious and change the belief that you have. Um, as I've said, I mean, we've touched on a few beliefs, but they are absolutely limitless in the number of beliefs that you can have. But start working on the ones that are obvious. And it's easy to tell when a belief that you have is not serving you because life is unpleasant. Um, it becomes difficult and you rile against it. And as soon as you start doing that, ask yourself, so what belief do I have right now that is creating this experience in my life? And then when you realise what it is, start looking for evidence of the opposite of what you believe. I hope you've really enjoyed this. If you have, please like, subscribe or leave me a comment. Um, I will always answer if I can. And if you're interested in any of the coaching that I do or mentoring or any of my online courses, then you can have a look on the links below and go to my website and send me a message and I'd be more than happy to engage with you on it. Have a fabulous week. So much love from me to you. Bye bye.